to show you some sample. These are um, these are real resumes with redacted information. Okay, redacted names. <clears throat> and um, these are this is the kind of thing that I was that I was talking about. So I'm going to start with this one. Okay, I'll see that. Yeah. All right. So here's a career title for you. Association Business Development Executive. Tribe, Lane, or both? Tribe, Lane, or both Tribe, Lane? Which one? What do you think? Lane. A Lane. Okay, the Lane is the business development. Oh, Here's her Tribe. Yeah, she's not just a BD person, she's an Association Business Development Executive. She, this could have, could have also said healthcare, or it could have said environmental services, or whatever. In her case, she's very tribe and very lane together, so we want to make sure that we highlighted that. And then I took some of her core competencies, right? Non dues revenue, that's an, a non association term, most people wouldn't know. <laughs> Corporate partnerships, trade shows, product development, because it's part of her brand, it's part of what she's done, but it also really reflects where she wants to go. In this box, remember I told you like the six to nine competencies? Membership recruitment and engagement, sponsorship development, corporate partnerships, international exhibitions. Those are specific competencies that fall under her brand. This is the advertising piece of her resume. And then straight away, I went right into her. I call professional highlights. You can call professional experience. It doesn't really matter. And see, here's that, here's that little piece around the, the job description. Manage a staff of eight. You know, da 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 da. I represent this. I grew the budget of 2.3 million. The job description. But here, now notice, remember back up here we had all of these competencies, right? Remember I talked about labeling your accomplishments? Well, here you go. This is what it looks like. See how it's bolded? Member engagement and retention? Here's the, here's the example. International exhibitions? Here's the example. Non dues revenue growth? Here's the example. And so when you when you scan down the page, or when the recruiter scans down the page, and by the way, by the way, the reason why there are a lot of bullets here, she's been there since '99. Actually, she's been there longer, but we split her job. She's been there a long time. Okay, so this really is the bulk of her resume. Normally, you wouldn't have quite this many bullets. And so you know, here it is. And then here was another job she had there. And this actually was a sub association under the same place. She's actually been there since 1989. And here's the irony, right? Back in the day, any boomer, baby boomers in this room would have, would have remembered that everybody wanted tenure, right? Ooh, I was there 25 years. Isn't that great? Any Gen Xers or Gen Yers in the room, right? Do you, <laughs> do, are, we, we think that if you've been there too long, <coughs> that's not a good thing, right? There's, there's sort of this reverse mindset now, but there's, there's sort of this balance between not too long and not too short. So hers, she's thinking, oh, 1989, that makes me look, you know, antiquated, right? Well, so we split it up, um, appropriately split it up. And then here's education, and then here's some executive, uh, some additional training, and some memberships. Do you see the right how this is different than a traditional resume? Let me show you. Um, slightly different in that um, it does have a title, right? But here's a little bit. These are kind of softer skills. Softer skills meaning, you know, strategic visionary, motivational leader, impactful communicator. You know. Uh, generate collegial relationships with key stakeholders at every level through integrity, authenticity, and thought leadership. Yeah, soft, and that's fine. It just depends on the person, right? It depends on kind of what you're trying to go for. Uh, but the same concept. There's still, um, there's still the, the competencies, and the competencies are still are still labeled. Okay. Same concept, All right? Um, actually, I'm going to pull up another one because I want to show you the. Um, I want to show you. Um, the hybrid that I was talking about, this is a hybrid one. Oops. Okay, so same thing. Here's a chief, he's an IT executive, right? Same competencies, but here, business results highlights. This looks like the old functional resume. You have your competencies with your accomplishments. By the way, I'm, I'm perfectly happy if somebody wants to repeat that. So like these, these accomplishments there, you're still going to see those in, your, in the person's resume, but these are the ones that pop. For that person, he's like, you know what, I really, really want to showcase these big accomplishments because it really relates to his brand. And so then, same thing. Go back in here and you've got, you know, you've got the, normal, the normal stuff. And here's one more way I'm going to show you. Um, this is a little bit different. So, you can't, and you can't see this because of the lighting, um, but what I will tell you is that um, these, these lines here, or 
Texas marketing strategy product are actually in blue. So it's a very sort of elegant way to separate because in his case, there are three different big competencies with smaller competencies underneath. So just kind of an elegant way to, to, to break it all, break down a lot of competencies in an organized way. In this case, we did a results highlight that was not centered. Why? Because there are too many of them, right? I mean, I guess I could have, but it just, it just made a little more sense to me um, to just sort of have it justified to the left. And then same thing as we've talked about before, okay? Does all that make sense? This has all kind of come together for you, right? Very branded, all about the competencies, but in an elegant, easy to read way with the, where the recruiter can do that five second glance and be able to really capture um, who you are and what you're, where you're going for.